Well, it's amazing my little Emerson is beginning to turn. That's beautiful. See, instead of following the directions exactly, I took a little knife right here. I got a long time ago for only a dollar. It's a really poor story down there. So I slit around and I threw the empty thing inside of there. I used some of the Lysol spray to clean my floor with right over there. See, I slid it around so it won't boil over. According to the instructions, it says cook for four and a half minutes. And then afterwards, one minute is my timer. I'm so glad that it's spinning. It wasn't before. So I'm glad you see it's kind of boiling a little bit. And it would boil over if I had removed it properly, as the instructions say. So then, when it stops, I'm going to put it on for another four minutes. I have all my spices over here. Well, organized. I got this from the Rite Aid store a long time ago. So it's a, kind of a chicken, so I have this over here. It pulls out like that. <clears throat> have it put the coffee back because I always set out my coffee already and all my vitamins so this is what I'm going to use this is like lemon pepper as a kind of a seasoning for chicken and then I'll put some garlic in and maybe some seasoning and I've got all kinds of things that I can put there now it's beefy what it now means, it's, it's about 8.30. So now I open it up and it's uh, there. See, it would have boiled over, so instead I put it on for four minutes like that. I don't know if it's feeding the opposite direction. Sometimes it does, I don't know. When I look at the video, I'll tell if it is. See, it's kind of bubbling and bubbling. If I turn it off completely, it would boil over. I have to throw the thing away. See, it contains it, but it kind of heats it up, too. Kind of makes it a little steamy in a way. See, but I had torn it off completely and boil all over the place. Well, I don't know, it says for 11. I don't know, that's 1,000 or whatever. So, now it's uh, cooking. So, maybe I'll, after, let's see, maybe 30 minutes, let's see. It was on 4, so after 3 minutes, I'll just... Uh, stop it again, but the timer will see be there, you see. So then I'll go like this at that time. I'll kind of let it air out by pulling it open. Phew. See, it boils a little bit because I seal it better. And then I continue to cook by pressing the start again. Let's see, was it going that way? I don't know. When I watched the video again, maybe it's been in the same direction. I don't know. So when it says press start and it's one minute, as it says on the instructions over here, now this is pretty healthy. This is a scallop chicken and noodles. It's in a tender, whatever, mushroom, celery, carrots, and peas in a creamy sauce. So this is pretty good, and I got the product code already spaced out. So it's a spinning, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it open, I guess, after about two minutes, and we'll see if it goes in the opposite direction. It's going this direction. It's the next direction is, uh, that's counterclockwise. So at two minutes, then I'll just see if it goes the opposite direction. It's going this way, we'll see if it goes the opposite way. It's going this way, so we'll see if it goes the other way. No, it keeps on going the same direction. You see, I got those cheap pals, and instead of a big, huge thing like that, I got the Ralph's cheap little things like that. So it's about 1 minute and 40 seconds or so. But one minute and thirty, I'll open the door again. 
and I'll give it a little spin or whatever, like that, because I don't want it to really boil over, because it makes such a mess, you see. So then I'll close it again, and I'll start it again. Now let's see, now it's spinning the other direction. I'm pretty sure it's going in the clockwise, it was going counterclockwise, wasn't it? Oh, well, and I replay the video, it'll show me. Right now, this is 5 minutes and 40 whatever seconds. It's at 11 11. Like 7 11. So I already have this as my product code. So I can pull it again and stop. See, it's going clockwise. So now I'll give it a little spin, maybe in this direction. Maybe that encourages it to spin that way. No, it's going to go in clockwise. That's all right. When it's almost ready, I'll have this kind of warm water over here like that. Like that. So it's spinning that direction. Maybe at 30 seconds I'll put it on stop. We'll see. It's going clockwise. So then we go like that at about 30 seconds. Then we go like this and we'll spin it this way. Maybe it'll we'll spin that way, I don't know. Then we'll go like that. Now it's going uh, counterclockwise, see? I put it on a little bit of a spin. No, I, don't know. I want the hot water to go in there. No, I, kind of, I finally fixed my garbage disposal. See now when it goes off, and I press the timer on. Then you don't throw it away. Now it beeps, so now I press the starmer to stop. Timer. See now I just put this over here like that. We're waiting for the timer. See the time is about 8.30. And I put this over here like this. Because it almost leaked out before. Now I don't have my hose hooked up for the dishwasher yet. So when it goes to the stop, I'll just move this over here like this. And this over here. And this I put over here. I'm ready to kind of rip it off. When it goes ding over there, and I guess I'll I'll start my music again. I like to listen to. I'm doing my cooking. Now turn it down a little bit. See, in about three seconds, it's gonna go ding. It says in cook. So we go cancel in cook. I come over here. Uh, I guess we'll open up the door like that. We're ready to put it over here like that. So we come over here like that. We gently sit it there like that. Close the door like that. I have that ready to go over here like that. I better put it on stop, really. That's pretty.